Hey guys, um, now I'm just gonna do a tu uh, tutorial on how to make a 3D planet Mars, alright? Um, it's really simple. You just need a few textures, like this one I'll show it to you right now. You need cloud layer, Mars texture, and star background. Now you can find the links to these downloads in the description box, right? Okay? And you just download this, and you put it in a folder or something like that, like Mars Project Textures or something like that. And you um, just import it into After Effects. Okay, now the first thing we need to do to uh, make a 3D planner is we need to create a new composition, naturally. We can call this 3D Mars. Uh, you can have all the normal presets, but I like to go with 10 seconds for this one. Okay? 10 seconds. Okay. okay. And now what we do is we'll import all the files right here. We'll just take that in. And create a new folder. We'll call this textures. Put that in there. Twirl it down. And we have the textures. Now, the first thing that we need to do to make a 3D Earth is we take the Mars texture and drop it down. And now, what this is is a projection of the surface, spherical surface of Mars, into a flat map. And what we're going to do is we're going to map this to a sphere, okay, to imitate the planet Mars like this. It looks exactly like that. And um, what we'll do is we'll change a little of the rotation things. What we'll do for the rotation X is we'll just put it down a little to show off the polar cap. I, I like that. Then just go to rotation X, turn it to the right or something like that. Okay, maybe. Yeah, okay, so minus 38 and 14. Now that's done. Let's go to light, light intensity. Let's make it. It should be a little red, so let's make it 155. Light color. We'll make it a little like reddish type of thing, right? Okay, we have that color. Then, uh, light height. We can just keep it somewhere. We need to show off the caps to right so let's keep it somewhere there. Light direction. Let's keep it maybe towards, yeah, minus 54. And let's decrease the light height a little bit more and the light intensity just a little bit. Okay, we don't need it to be too supernatural. Okay, that's for the lighting settings. Now the shading, uh, let's go to ambience. Let's decrease it. Maybe just to keep it a little bit more. Yeah, that's good enough. Then, um, yeah, that's enough for shading. Okay. Now what we need to create is we go to project. We go to this uh, cloud layer. Okay. And we can actually put this into a new composition like this. Good effects. Effect, um, I think we can go to key. Yeah, so go to color key. Take this eyedropper and you specifically, specifically do this in your program as I'm doing here. I hope you can see this here. And you take it to one of these little swirls and click it. And then you increase the color tolerance. Maybe up to or something like that. Edge, uh, just take the edge feather, thin that. Okay, maybe you can even call it all instead of a few more times. Maybe just, just completely destroy it, you know. Then you go to effects, color correction, uh, tint. Take this color, bring it up to maybe a slight reddish. Let's take it down here. Okay. And now let's bring that here. Okay, and let's go to effects, perspective, CC sphere. And let's go for, uh, let's try uh, overlay. Overlay is not good. Lighten. Lighten is good. So now what we're trying to get is we're trying to get a little more. Um, as you can see here, we're showing off the atmosphere. As you can see, we do not want it to be completely dark. 
yet we want to show off a little bit of this atmosphere right here. And let's go down to the light. light intensity, let's reduce it. Just need to make a little noticeable fraction of light, you know? And light color should be reddish. Reddish. Light. Height can be about full. My direction there. You can't see many of these changes, but they will take effect. Same because you increase the so let's keep it maybe forty one. That's good. Okay now what we'll do is we'll go to new solid. Let's stick white solid especially, make comp size. Okay. And instead of keeping it in the dialog box, let's take the cloud I mean the solid uh, white solid one and put it into a new composition right here. And what we'll do now is we'll take effects, color correction, again we'll go to tint, we'll go to map white to maybe the same kind of color that we got for Mars over there, and then we'll go with 3D Mars composition project, and the white solid above the cloud layer, go to effects, perspective, CC sphere. Okay, here we might go for a soft light, okay, now that effect has come. Let's go, sorry, a uh, radius, maybe 204. That's pretty good, 204. Okay, 204, and uh, or let's make it hard light. I think hard light looks good, yeah, hard light looks good. And let's go to light, light intensity, just reduce it, you know, we don't want that much light intensity. The light color can be this little reddish. Not too much because we already did that for the others. So we got that. Right direction, let it be somewhere over there. Okay. Now, shading, ambience, we do not want it too much. Maybe you can get it. We just need a little so that we can see a little bit of specs, which is the cloud layer. And then um, go to effects, blur and sharpen, fast blur. And we increase the blurriness to maybe 6. And we got this effect. How cool is that? Okay, now um, we need to create the rotation, right? And um, uh, to create the rotation, actually, what we need to do is we go with create a new adjustment layer. Okay, got a new adjustment layer, effects, expression control, angle control. And now what we do is we go to we, we bring our uh, mouse to the stopwatch, hold Alt. And click and we get this sort of thing and right here in this box we write time times um, let's keep it 24 now what this does is that it takes the total time value which in this particular composition is 10 seconds and we multiply it into uh, whatever number you want and that becomes the rotation the rotation of the entire texture okay so now I've kept it as time times 24 that means it'll go 240 degrees okay but now what we don't want is that we don't want the um, planet texture to rotate independently from the cloud layer and the solid white solid so what we do is we're gonna parent it so we're gonna do we're gonna first take the Mars texture go to effects uh, CC sphere rotation and go to the rotation Y again keep the uh, uh, mouse on the stopwatch press alt click and we take this pick whip here and we put it to angle. Now we've successfully parented it to the angle. Now we do this for everything, so let's go for cloud layer, effects, CC sphere, rotation, alt click, and let's pick with it to the angle. Okay, that's done. Then let's go to white solid, effects, CC sphere, rotation, uh, stopwatch, alt click, let's pick with it to the angle. Okay. And now it has been successfully done. So now, as you can clearly see, we have rotation, and it is good. Now, actually, this cloud layer, it you can see that it doesn't show off much. But even the most tiniest things have a great importance, because as you can clearly see, you can see minute details of an atmosphere, clouds, or whatever it is. So that is what we're looking for, okay? So you always have to take minute details into consideration when you're doing uh, 
stop dealing with graphics, okay? Because that is what people notice. So, um, again, let's go to uh, textures and let's take our final star background and put it as background. And now we have Mars. Let's render it completely for uh, 10 seconds. Um, actually, now if you look at the atmosphere here, I'm not really that the board, you know, I'm not really that happy with it, so what I'll do is, maybe after the rendering is complete, I'll change the settings for that, okay, so, um, okay, rendering is complete, let's just go back, and let's go to the white solid, I'm sorry, 3D, and let's go to the white solid right here, effect controls, let's go to fast forward, and let's try and increase it, to maybe 15 or something like that, we do not want too much yeah, okay, I'm going to go for 27. Okay. Now, successfully, we have created the planet Mars. And you can do this uh, for any kind of planet, as long as you get the, you know, the texture maps, and you uh, get the right tutorials and everything, and you can do the same things in After Effects. That is why After Effects is a very useful tool. And, um, I hope you see more of my uh, tutorials, and subscribe, and comment please, and I hope you like this, and uh, thank you very much for watching it, and I'll see you later, thanks.